What's up guys, Kavilf here and today I am going to show you how you can create some easy uh, and fast normal maps and you can do it by yourself, you don't have to bake anything, you don't have to do anything uh, you know like displacement or anything and the best part you don't have to render anything so I'm just going to you know uh, add a plane I'm just going to make it sure that it is set to 1 so yes and uh, after that what I'm going to do is you know we are just simply going to uh, create what type of uh, you know map we want to make I'm just going to add some few of the edge lines here and I'm just going to bevel it something like this and then extrude along normals and I'm going to bring it down after that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these faces uh, not these ones though so let me just delete these faces something like this it doesn't actually matter but uh, you know why not so I'm just going to select this uh, faces right something like this and going into the individual origins and I'm just going to say, uh, scale it on y axis so that it creates kind of like you know a small uh, fillets, uh, fillet sort of thing so after that what we are going to do is I'm just going to add a camera and I'm just going to align it you know right above something like this and what we are going to do is we are not going to use uh, the the cam cameras we normally use so uh, as you can see in camera there are two types of uh, there are three types of cameras actually the first one is perspective which you know you and I normally use right the second type of camera is orthographic so it does not you know uh, have like origin uh, sorry the vanishing points of the object if that makes sense uh, and the third one is panoramic uh, uh, panoramic uh, camera and I'll make a tutorial soon on this camera and I'll show you how you can create your own HDRI but that's for later so let's just go into orthographic oh yeah uh, if you want to see this uh, please do subscribe <laughs> so after that what I'm going to do okay so there's a slight problem here I'm just going to you know scale this properly okay so I feel this is okay so this is the problem I was talking about so as you can see we kind of like have like empty space and it is not scaling on uh, x axis properly so the reason being this is not scaling properly is like it is obviously it is straight but due to camera perspective we are seeing it like this so because uh, we kind of like have like you know origin points uh, uh, not origin points uh, vanishing points going and meeting somewhere here so this is why it's happening uh, you know uh, many people do those sketches with those uh, you know oh, vanishing points so let's come back quickly to the perspective okay uh, and we are going to actually use an orthographic camera so as you can see uh, we have our orthographic camera and I'm going to set it to 1 since our uh, scale of plane was born and now you can see you kind of like have like this perfect straight edges but we still um, have maintained our uh, geometry so after that what we are going to do is I'm just going to go back into camera so as you can see again we have another problem we are kind of like cropping into our image so for that what we are going to do is we kind of need one by one aspect ratio and as we go into our so since this is like a camera issue we can definitely uh, address this issue in our render settings and as you can see we have like one to one aspect ratio but we have a different uh, you know resolution so in order to keep that uh, perfect we have to use a uh, same uh, x and y resolution so we are just going to you know eyeball it and go like thousand and as you can see we have like a perfect camera in for our perfect plane so this is the first part i'm just going to make it like something like this 
so now how do we get our normal maps now if you go to uh, you know i'm just going to make it like 27 percent and if i render this image as you can see we do have like uh, you know ridges and all those things but it uh, it looks more like a displacement map than a normal map right and you can use this technique for a displacement map and you can just you know have some light changes in your scene and you can have this but we need a normal map right so what do we do so how do we get with this normal map turns out in viewport shading there are so many options you know so like uh, flat is one of my favorite uh, because like it helps with you know more cad like of uh, more more like a sketch up uh, sketch up uh, uh, feel to it it has and inside this uh, mat cam we can uh, see there are so many other options we have this uh, uh, like zebra lines something i don't know what they are called and other like this which can be used for displacement map i guess and inside this we also have this texture it looks like a uh, normal map and if we are able to get this image out we can make use of this as a normal map so if i hit render now you will see again we have a normal image so how do we get this image out turns out it is very easy you just have to go into view uh, you can see it uh, nearby object mode and you can just click on this viewport render image okay so we have our image but it is kind of like you know we can definitely use this but we kind of need the whole resolution here so let's just hit it again as you can see we have this image a perfect norm normal map what we can do is we can just save this image you know wherever we want i'm just going to save it to my desktop okay and now i'm just going to add a i'm just going to open a new scene and I'm going to add a uh, environment texture somewhere I do have it somewhere okay yeah so yes so as you can see we kind of like have a scene right here and right now we are in cycles I guess so let's just hop back into EV for more smooth action and now I'm going to add a plane and it will be 0.2 meters so let's just set it to 1 meter okay so right now we have a plane and on forward this guys uh the you know uh, uh it's the same old thing you just control t open get your normal map just bring it somewhere right there and we fit it into our normal map as you can see it right here and normal into the normal and as you can see uh, just don't know guys I might have some problems here okay uh, where did I save this on my desktop right yes so right now we are using UV and we have not unwrapped it so I guess that is the reason yeah so once we have unwrapped this uh, we can see we have like the normal texture right here and we can see it best in not UV but actually cycles and right now we are you know viewing the node uh, the, the texture directly now let's see how it works into this and right now it is kind of like behaving differently because set it to 0.2 or something like that and as you can see guys uh, let me just make this full screen as you can see we kind of like have a normal texture here which we created by our own if you can't see this let me just you know, make this some darker color this will help let's make this something like a silver metal shade let's go for two and something gray uh, I think yeah now you can see it uh, so we 
kind of created our own like sheet metal and this is just a plane and you can definitely you know uh, play around with some more designs and all those things uh, but one more thing I want to just uh, you know show you and you can try this by your own as we can see we have like perfect reflections and all those things if we add an isotropy something like turn to 45 rotation it should yeah it works perfectly uh, another thing I just want to you know uh, uh, make clear of uh, when you are uh, you know creating uh, any texture like uh, a tileable texture right so let's just create some you know normal how many cuts okay four cuts let's just add four more here and I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all and check it is select and selecting on this individual thing let's just go and insert and bring this up right and the same old thing uh, we are going to add a camera going to set it to orthographic scale to one resolution to thousand something and we can just right now it's yeah so it doesn't matter guys your where your camera is like on this height or that height it will always get the perfect like uh, you know uh, this is more like a technical camera rather than this so once you have uh, created an image something like this you know uh, you can see it's uh, if we have like you know uh, okay let me just show you like this if we create a tiling for this you know you can see we kind of like break our texture right here right so what we need is we kind of need this half and this half right so then we can uh, we can just you know kind of like uh, oops we can delete these faces and then uh, we can like oops what I am doing yeah so we can uh, tile it properly and we do not need to see this edge so for that what we can do is uh, what I have found kind of works in my uh, uh, my uh, projects is you can s get your camera back and instead of this uh, one you can use 8 0 0.835 which kind of like gives you and uh, a perfect but then you still have to you know eyeball this I guess you know uh, 0.8 should work I guess yeah if uh, uh, try to you know uh, make experiments with this technique and now what you uh, you have is like you know all you can do is like you know you can have some edge loops and I, and yeah I feel like point 0.8 will work definitely fine for this and uh, yeah guys that's it for the tutorial how you can make your own normal maps these are like very easy maps uh, you definitely cannot make uh, some you know high quality or something the you know very detailed or anything like that but uh, you know uh, that's like try with it uh, experiment with it you know have fun with it anyways uh, thanks guys for uh, thanks guys for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video peace